Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Cyber Ninja figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the G.I. Joe Retaliation line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $9.96. Now, according to the character bio, Cobra Cyber Ninjas are the ultimate combination of ninja fighting arts and technology. They use cybernetic invisibility suits to carry out sneak attacks against G.I. Joe buildings and personnel. When I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I liked what I saw. Um, I really like the design of this uniform. It's very futuristic looking. In fact, it reminds me a bit of how the programs looked in the Tron Legacy film that came out back in 2010. The vest that you see on this figure is not part of the figure mold. It looks to be removable as it pegs together on the figure's left side. All articulation joints worked well on this figure. I had no problem in moving the head, shoulders, elbows, forearms, hips, knees, or ankles. Uh, the ankles pivot and there is no wrist articulation and I'm thinking it might have been removed in favor of being able to pose the forearms. Pain apps uh, were pretty much nicely done too. I found some very minor chipping on both of the legs, but it's very hard to see it. So let me pause here, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. All right, the Cyber Ninja came with several different accessories, so let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what they are. Uh, the figure stand that you see him standing on was not included in the package. Okay, first up, here are his Ninja Toe and Shoto swords, complete with the scabbard. Uh, the long sword is the Ninja Toe, and the short sword is the Shoto. All right, this is the same accessory that was included with the Dark Ninja figure, um, with the exception that, they're, that these swords and scabbard are colored off gray and not black. And as you can see here, there are some blue lines here on the sword blades. And I'm just wondering if that's supposed to symbolize a form of energy flowing through them, considering that this is supposed to be a Cyber Ninja. Okay, next up, here are his two handguns. Um, these look like they could be six-hour handguns, possibly the uh, P226 model. Uh, they both have what appear to be laser sighting on them and extended capacity ammunition clips. These cannot be holstered anywhere on the figure's body. Okay, next up, here is his energy rifle. Um, if you recall, uh, this is the same weapon that was used with the uh, G.I. Joe 30th Anniversary of Renegade's Duke figure. All right, finally, here is his zipline accessory. This consists of two suction cups here and here. Um, and this uh, backpack right here and a small hand grip device right here. All right, now according to the included instruction manual, you can set this up to have him rappel down this uh, small line here uh, in one of two ways. With the uh, line running through the backpack, and as you can see right here, there's an opening, so you can run the line through that. Or um, you can have him rappel down the line using the uh, hand grip device right here. The hand grip device is quite small, so be careful not to accidentally lose it. And personally, um, I, I'm not too enthusiastic about this item, as I think the zip line that came with the Red Ninja was just a bit easier to set up. And furthermore, suction cups can wear out as time goes along too. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of the Cyber Ninja and let you see what he looks like from all sides.
Okay. All right, so overall, I have to admit, I, I do like this figure quite a bit. Uh, I like his appearance, as it has a very distinctive, futuristic look. He's got some interesting accessories, uh, but as I said, I'm just not too enthusiastic about that repelling line accessory. But in spite of that, um, I'm still giving this figure a great recommendation. Uh, I think he makes for a great addition to your G.I. Joe collection. So if you see him in stores, pick him up. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.